as the Chang'e 6 probe lifts off. It's almost 65 years to the day that humans first sent a probe to the moon. In 1959, the Soviet Union launched Luna 1. It sailed nearly 6,000 kilometers past the lunar surface, becoming the first flyby probe to the moon. It was followed by the success of two more probes in the same year, Luna 2 and 3. They accomplished the first landing on the moon's surface and brought back images of the never-before-seen far side of the moon. A decade later, NASA's Apollo 11 mission historically put men on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. As the crew were preparing for the landing, a Chinese myth about the moon goddess Chang'e grabbed their attention. Among the uh, large headlines concerning Apollo this morning is one asking that you watch for a lovely girl with a big rabbit. An ancient legend says a beautiful Chinese girl called Chang'e has been living there for 4,000 years. Okay, we'll keep a close eye for the bunny girl. In 1970, China launched its first man-made satellite, Dongfang Hong-1. It was China's first step in exploring our vast universe. From here, China's space explorations began to ramp up, especially after the arrival of the new millennium. In 2003, history was made. China launched its first manned space mission. Yang Li Wei became the legend. Make use of outer space peacefully and the benefit of humankind. As Yang uttered that greeting from over 300 kilometers above the Earth, China already had ambitions to launch missions that would reach around 380,000 kilometers away to the moon. China's lunar exploration program was given its official name in 2004. It was called the Chang'e program after the moon goddess. It involved a three-step plan, orbiting, landing and sample return. Each step was meticulously mapped out. The first step was to develop China's lunar satellite and to launch it into the moon's orbit. In 2007, that satellite, Chang'e 1, was launched from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center. Chang'e 1 brought to the world a complete map of the moon's surface. In less than three years, Chang'e 2 was sent into a lunar orbit 100 kilometers from the moon it was able to transmit a much clearer view of the surface, capturing an image at a resolution of seven meters, the best moon map by then. Chang'e 2 also successfully captured at close range images of the near-Earth asteroid Tutatis for the first time. China was ready for the next step, landing. In 2013, Chang'e 3 achieved a successful soft landing on target in the northwest of Mare Imbrium. The landing spot was named after China's Moon Palace, the fairy tale home of the goddess Chang'e. China's first lunar rover, U2, or Jade Rabbit, also left its mark on the lunar surface. Chinese scientists dared to dream big. For the next landing mission, the destination was the far side of the moon. After the launch of the Chue Chiao relay satellite to aid communications, the Chang'e 4 probe embarked on its journey. On January 3, 2019, Chang'e 4 landed in the Fon Kaman crater, marking humanity's first soft landing on the far side of the moon. This time, Chang'e 4 brought along another jade rabbit, the U-2-2 rover, to roam the far side of the moon. Then came 2019, 
only one year to the time China intended to return lunar samples to Earth. Can China achieve the goal on time? China's next probe, Chang'e 5, reached a record weight of over 8 tons. The probe needed a powerful rocket to lift it into space. Enter the Long March 5. On November the 24th, 2020, the probe lifts off from the Wunchang spacecraft launch site. More than 40 years had passed since the last lunar sample mission. China brought back 1,731 grams of lunar soil. It had been 17 years since the blueprint of that three-step plan was unveiled. China turned that plan into reality. On time, on cue, to perfection. Now China is making history again. This time, it aims to bring back lunar samples from the far side of the moon, paving the way for more discoveries in space exploration for humanity.